Hello! In this video I will show you how to create and use datasets for your email messages. Ok, so what is a dataset in shared email templates? It's a table from where you can take the data you need. Data may be inserted into email messages either automatically or interactively. Imagine, I have bookstores in five different cities and I want to have a table with their addresses, opening hours and availability for events to use this information whenever I want to in my emails. I don't have such a table in an Excel file on my OneDrive or SharePoint, so I'll need to create a simple dataset. I choose a folder, right-click it and select New Dataset. The Shared Email Templates app opens in my default browser. First, I type a name for my dataset. Then, select Simple and start entering the data of my bookstores. I have only one store in each city, so I can use city names as identifiers, and I put them all into the very first column, which is a key column, and all the values must be unique. My table will consist of five rows and four columns. To add a new column and row, I click on the plus sign. OK, my dataset is ready, and I save it. I've received a request to host an event in New York. I already have a template that I can use for my reply, but I need to change it a little to automatically get information about my bookstore in New York. I'll add four autofillable fields – city, address, opening hours, days for events. OK, let's start with city. I select this word in my template and click the Insert Macro button. I choose Insert Dataset Value. Then a dialog window shows up. I select the dataset that I have just created, Stores, the column that contains the city names and a key value, which is the name of the city itself in my case. And I click OK. An autofillable field appears in my template. I need three more for the address, opening hours and days for events. I select the same dataset Stores then select a column where the details of my New York bookstores are. The key value will be the same. In the same way, I add the remaining fillable fields. Let's check. I insert the template and I see the name of the city, its address, opening hours and the days when my bookstore in New York is available for events. All the details have been automatically inserted to the message body from my dataset. What if I want to have just one template that I can use for each of my bookstores and select the corresponding city when inserting the template? I will change the template I already have by adding interactive fillable fields. First, I select a word, which I want to replace with the fillable field. I click the Insert Macro button and choose what to enter. In the dialog window, I select Dataset, then I type Choose a city. I'll see this prompt when I insert my template into an email. I select my dataset Stores and select the City column. After that, I click OK. A fillable field is added to my template. The next fillable field I'm going to create will return data from the same row of the dataset, so I can select Insert Macro, What to enter, copy from another What to enter, choose a city. The dialog is filled automatically and I only need to select another column. In my case, I will choose Address, Hours and Days. Now my template has all the interactive fillable fields I need for it. Let's see how it works. I click the Insert button and see my prompt Choose a city. So it's time for me to select a city I need, Paris. I click OK. And the details about my store in Paris appear in my email message. Great, isn't it? Let's say. My client sent an email asking me about addresses and opening hours of my bookstores in Europe. I want my reply to contain a table that is automatically filled with data from my dataset stores. This is my new template. I have already added a table to it 
And what I need to do is bind this table to the data set. Pay attention that I have only one empty row for values from the data set. It's enough. When I make my table bound to the data set, I'll be able to add more rows to the table in my reply. I right click a cell in the row that is intended for values from my data set and select bind to data set. In the dialog window, I type choose a city. I'll see this prompt when I insert my template into an email and I'll be able to select the necessary city. I select my dataset stores, select columns in the order that I want for my table. Then I click OK. I insert the template into my email message to see how it works. A prompt window shows up. I select European cities where I have my bookstores and click OK. Now I have my table populated with the details of my bookstores in Europe. That's great! But what if I have some static text in a cell that is intended for values from my dataset? When I bind the table, the cell remains intact. I can see the hours column bound to it. But no problem, I can do it manually. I copy the content from the neighboring cell and change address to hours. Besides, I want to make hours more visible, so I'll make them both like this. OK, let's see the result. I insert the template, select the cities I want to include in my reply, three of them actually, and I click OK. That's it! The table in my message has three rows populated with data from my dataset. Here's my static text and opening hours in bold font. Thanks for watching this video! Enjoy your shared email templates!